I'm back everyone for video number three or four today. Are you sick of me yet? This is a mobile home park. In this section here, they just made this about two years ago. I remember when this was all field as well as that in front of me. Um, let's see which way. I'll try this way. I knew an elderly lady that used to live here. She had a really, really nice redwood mobile home. That mobile home was made solid and it had um, wonderful windows that were storm windows, which you don't really hear too much about down here in the south like back home you do storm windows that double pane i mean that mobile home she had it it was built to last and i'll show it to you after i get out of this new part um now this mobile home park let me tell you it looks very nice on the outside all this is new but it does not have a very good reputation as far as the management. The management that runs this mobile home park also runs another one. Um, here in town. On the other side of town. And they do not have a good reputation. It's not a a place that I would want to live and I know that the things I've heard are true because when that elderly lady that I knew well I still know her but she's moved to another part of Texas but when she lived here I used to spend a lot of time with her um, and she would get pages and pages of forms to fill out real often from the management here and I'd, I would help her they're always going up on the lot rent. Now she owned her own mail, oh boy, my words. She owned her own mobile home. So she didn't have a mortgage, but she had a lot fee. And then you pay taxes. And where this mobile home park is, the county is, it's on two counties. And so your property tax, you're paying to two different counties. So imagine if you're renting, um, if you have a mortgage on your mobile home, or if you're renting your mobile home, you get your rent, then you have your lot fee, then you have your mortgage, um, your taxes that you're paying on two different counties. You have your water, your sewage, your electric, your um, trash. And then they were charging a pet deposit and they were doing something with, um, oh, you had to get a sticker for your vehicle, a tenant sticker. So this was hers. She planted those trees. I remember when they were just planted. And this was hers, this beautiful redwood. And she had a little garden out there in the front that we planted. And on the side there, we planted okra. She had, she had lettuce and Swiss chard and fresh mint and all kinds of good greens growing in that little front yard there. I do miss her. Um, she's a very, very nice lady and smart about gardening. She was from Germany. For a while, I even was taking her to do her grocery shopping and taking her to um, doctor's appointments. There's a couple of little chihuahuas, they look like. That's a big problem in this mobile home park. She had um, two cats, or maybe even three, and she'd let them out. They'd come back in. They'd mostly just hang around in her yard, but they attracted other cats and there would be a lot of strays and a lot of stray dogs and
this mobile home park is pretty big it goes on to another side too and I remember when this playground was just all a field and then they started making it into a little playground it goes clear over there um, I used to know a family that lived in that mobile home that's kind of like in the corner where that truck is and I've always liked that one up ahead that's not in a park that's on someone's private property but it used to be yellow and it looks like they um, got a new roof and cleaned up their yard and I like that color better than the yellow but I'll drive you down here this park it continues This part of that same park is the original part. They call it the old side, but it's the um, the original. This is called Redwood at the Lake. And the lake is not here, but the lake is not too far. That gray building is the office. Then you have your mailboxes. Those of you that live down here in the south know how popular this this kind of living is. So this was the first part of the park that was built and then it was that part that we just left and then the newest part is the part I started this video at. So some of these are kind of run down like this even looks abandoned but I don't know, their grass is really high and they were getting strict on that. They were uh, not letting you like change your oil in your driveway, um, not putting out a kiddies pool for your kids. I remember all those rules they were having when that lady got all that paperwork. She's moved down now to uh, somewhere way past Dallas. Her daughter and her daughter's husband live down there and she moved down there to live with a granddaughter and then she got into a um, an apartment that's based on your income, which is better for her. Her granddaughter wasn't too thrilled to have her grandmother living with her, which is sad. People on this side, they don't have those nice, oh, I was just gonna say they don't have those nice carports and now I'm seeing about four or five in a row that do. <laughs> but not like the new side, just about everyone on that new side has them. This is really wide. I guess that's a double wide. We have a lot of these parks here in my town. In fact, one, one park here in town, a mobile home park, just sold for seven million dollars. He's risen, yes he has. This, is, this one is so nice with that big deck. that person on my left that have a lot of cactuses and this place has trees over there which is good you know for shade um, just got to keep those limbs trimmed or oh, their sightings falling in I'm hearing cats go at it Their grass is really high.
rocking chair. Some wood. I mean, it's just rows and rows. It's really, you know, sad when when a mobile home park as big as this, and like I say, these this management owns another one that's even bigger here in town, and um, it's sad when they don't have a good reputation. You know, word gets around. There's that green I love. Oh, my hand is getting tired. I need to get home and get crocheting. Don't know why I'm out spying out all these lands. Remember that in the Bible? When those spies went out to spy out the land and they came back with a not so good report. <laughs> oh, I love reading my Bible. Lots of speed bumps. If you have one of these and you don't have no shade, you really need to find some, um, I mean, they must sell something that you can put on your roof, you know, paint, some kind of paint or a special sealer that protects it from the, the sun. I would imagine um, I haven't had a problem with my roof and really it would be up to the landlord to repair. Oh, hand is getting sleepy. I'm coming up to the end anyway. Okay everyone, I'm sorry if these RV park videos bored you, but I thought it'd be interesting to some people, especially I have a couple um, subscribers that live in other countries and I don't think this way of living is uh, popular over there or maybe not even allowed. So I thought I'd just show you. Okay, I'll talk to you later.